What is it ladies and gentlemen, it's Spade here and welcome to another monthly discussion. It is July and honestly just when I thought the summer wasn't as hot as I thought it would be, July changes it. It's starting to become too hot here. Well, I guess that's to be expected. Since it's still summer, also I'm waiting for winter. At this point, I'm just waiting for winter or fall. I really don't like summer or spring. Either or... What happened this month? Let's just start with what games I ended up playing this month. So for this month, mainly played Tales of Berseria. Actually made a decent amount of progress. Although I wish it was more. I thought we are currently 20 episodes into a playthrough. I was hoping to get up to episode 30 recorded, but that didn't happen since my hands gave out on me and they still hurt like hell, sadly. But at the same time, I, I guess it's to be expected. Oh well, I ended up not playing Red Dead Redemption 2 at all this month. I don't think I played it last month either, did I? And though I definitely don't have any plans on playing that game again, at least not till September. I feel like I'd just rather focus on some of the other playthroughs. I think we also played Record of Agros Wars Zero at the beginning of the month, at least. If not, I at least did some level grinding. Beats me when the next recording session will be though. Level grinding is a pain <laughs> lately in that game, it seems. Who knows? I know what we are still 43 episodes into Wars Zero. As I well, fall along we are in Red Dead Redemption 2, we are still sitting at 60. Six episodes, which is still quite a ways through the game, but at the same time, we barely made a dent. We are pretty close to facing chapter three. I think we're like two or three episodes away from facing chapter three, so we still have a long ways to go. As for Persona 4, I did end up playing Persona 4 this month. We are currently sitting at 31 episodes in to the playthrough, which is pretty nice. Although we are making more progress faster than I thought we would. I can't deny that. I figured we'd at least be at episode 28. But nope. <laughs> nope, or further along. Either or, I believe that's all the games I end up playing this month. Mainly it was Persona 4 and Tales of Azaria. 
As for what I want, finally get around to watching Boruto, and I'm currently still watching Naruto. As it stands, I'm 40 episodes in to Boruto, so I'm completely caught up with that so English version wise, at least. Simply need to wait for more episodes to be in English. So I end up watching Boruto before finishing Naruto. Mainly start watching Boruto because I had nothing else to do. Because honestly, my hands are still holding. So I said fuck it and just started watching it. Also, I'm actually liking Boruto a lot so far. It's pretty good, actually. Although I can see why some people may hate it. Mainly due to the lack of fights. I feel like that's probably one reason why a lot of people don't like the show. But honestly, I actually don't mind it. Surprisingly. I would have thought there would have been more fights. But nope. But also, I actually don't really mind it. Boruto kind of gives me a buddy buddy type of vibe. For the so, I mean. And also, I actually really like it. It's a different change of pace from what Naruto Superman is. And honestly, I. Not a big fan of Naruto Seppuden for multiple reasons. So, no, Naruto is a nice change of pace. I cannot but like it. Yeah, the lack of fights is a little disappointing. But what little fights there are, they're pretty decent. They are definitely pretty decent. So there are 40 episodes in. I think there's like what? Seven fights maybe? If that? Throughout 40 episodes? That's really not much. Although I'm definitely liking it so far. It does have my attention. That's for so. I'm definitely still curious on how certain couples became a thing. Like Sai and Eno. First off, I was hoping Sai would be dead in the war. In Outer Supreme. Mainly because he's the worst killer in the cell. Slash series. For me at least. I've never liked Sai. So it's interesting that... Somehow he won Eno's heart. That's definitely one Naruto couple. I never will predict it. Not ever. I'm definitely interested in wondering how the hell that happens. Definitely. Still curious on how Sasuke Sakura happens. Uh, I, 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 I can't deny. I can't deny because I never finished Naruto Supreme yet. So I wouldn't have known this anyway, but still threw me for a bit of a loop. And it was honestly great. Uh, 
I completely forget how you say her name. Sayada? Is that how you say it? And she's trying to figure out who her mother is. I don't get it. They're spelled the same so far. They're spelled the same so far. Making Sasuke out to be a scumbag. <laughs> Uh, I actually wish that actually happened, but it didn't. If it did, honestly, it would have definitely made some interesting drama. I can't deny that. Uh, Sasuke is not that much of a scumbag, though. Still great that they pulled that off, especially since I didn't know how Sasuke and Saga got together. Still beats me how the hell they do. How they do get together. But I guess I'll find out sooner or later. Since I'm also watching out to Sapirin. I think I've got like Oh my god, how many episodes left to watch? I think 140 episodes left to watch, I think. So I still have a ways to go. I think I'm currently at episode 359 for Naruto Sapirin. So I'm still in the middle of some backstory. Currently with Itatsi and Kakasi. So that's something I guess. So uh, if only if only Sasuke actually turned out to be a scumbag. Uh the drama that would have come after that would have been hilarious. And very interesting. I will say this, I'm glad that Sasuke's little friends that he traveled with in Auto Supreme actually survive and live into Baruto. I do like that because Sasuke's little pals are actually great. I definitely do like Sasuke's little team slash group. I can't deny that. So I am glad that they made it into Baruto at least. Overall that was pretty good so far. I'm liking it at least. And as for Naruto Sapirin, honestly, I'm enjoying actually getting back into watching it, finally. But at the same time, I can't deny some backstory is boring especially if it's some random ass missing that Naruto's a part of when he's a kid to me that type of stuff feels like it's sort of been in the original Naruto series at the very least but when it comes to the actual backstory that happens before Naruto's time, that just makes sense for that to be backstory. Otherwise, any other type of backstory is the most boring stuff to watch for me in the show. And I'm sure I'm probably not done 
watching some more episodes of that. I am interested in definitely seeing the model backstory. It looks like it's coming up in another 10 episodes or so. Hopefully I can actually finish watching Naruto within the next week and a half or two. Hopefully. I'm definitely going to be happy to cross Naruto off of the two watts list. I'm definitely not going to watch the movies anytime soon. I'll most likely save that for another time. Most likely. Also, I actually haven't really watched many of the Naruto movies. The first Naruto Supreme movie. And at least two or three of the Naruto movies from the original series. And that's pretty much it. So they're all old Naruto movies I have not watched. Eventually I'll get around to them most likely. Not so if I'm actually up for watching the OVAs though. The OVA episodes are definitely question marks. I'm not so if I'm willing to watch them or not. Who knows. Although I'm actually finally watching the show again. As for what else I ended up watching this month. Also other than just binge watching some Let's Plays and Naruto and Naruto. I think that's actually pretty much it. Surprisingly. Although binge watching does get boring over time, it definitely does. So I couldn't help myself but break up binge watching just a tad bit and do some editing. Even though my hands are killing me, I did do some editing. I think I ended up editing like one, two Let's Play videos for the Let's Play channel. Just so this past week could actually have more than one video. It would have only had one episode of audio or two only. So I had to at least add two episodes. Give this past week something else other than one video on the Let's Play channel at least. But I also made two AMVs. Even though my hands are killing me, binge watching 24 7 gets boring. I had to break that up every so often. But I think I am definitely done with editing, period, until whenever my hands are better. But also this was practically my entire arms. My elbows are killing me as well over the past week. I'll probably just post those two AMVs I made a little, like a week ago, I think. I think I'll just post those. Also, probably later on today. I have been itching to actually post them. I can't deny that. And also, I also tried making two more AMVs this month because honestly the lack of AMVs on this channel is killing me. 
the lack of videos on the main channel over the past two months or so have been killing me. Whatever happened to the whole 30 uploads a month goal on each channel? They ain't ever coming back. I wish so. I wish. Also, the amount of AMVs posted this month has been pretty weak. Like what? Without posting the two AMVs I made about a week ago. <laughs> Because I was dying to edit something. Without counting that, three AMVs this month. That's really sad. Really sad. At least this way it would be five AMVs this month. So yeah, I think I am just going to post those probably after this is uploaded. I also ended up getting... First of all, it was actually six days ago since those AMVs were made. Uh, Got to bring up the tension of Vince watching 24-7. A tad bit. I know, Jack, if I'm binge watching something, I'm bound to want to make an AMV along the way, at least one or two. And that's what I end up doing. Either I end up getting five more games this month as well. Currently downloading the second one out of the five right now. Ended up getting Simigami Tensei, Persona 3 FES, Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2. All three of those games. With SMT and Fallout. Still haven't beaten Persona 3 FES on the actual PlayStation 2. Still haven't done that. Still haven't finished my first playthrough of that game. Same can be said for Digital Devil Saga 1. As with Digital Devil Saga 2, never played that game before. Personally, at least. So I ended up getting those three games for the PlayStation 3 digitally. AKA, now that I have them for the PlayStation 3, we can actually record them if we want. But so 3 FES is a bit of an iffy. Still not entirely sure if I want to try and let's play that game at some point in the future. Eventually we probably will though. But I ain't for a long time though. I at least know how people still know 5 before Persona 3. So that's a long ways away. And honestly, this little saga 1 and 2 guaranteed games I want to let's play. And since I can't record the actual PlayStation 2, we have them for the PlayStation 3. Finally. So we can record them whenever we want. Which is great. 
ended up getting two games for the PlayStation 4 as well, both digitally. I took advantage of the recent sale that's been going on and I ended up getting is a like a most of Donna for the PlayStation 4. I've beaten the Vita version of Is 8, which is considered to be the original version of the game. I have that digitally for the Vita, but since I can't record the Vita, we have to play a Season 4 version. Which has extra content in it. Like extra dungeons and extra Kaldo as well. And I think maybe a few other things as well. I'm actually currently downloading that game right now. So be done downloading like 18 hours. It's been going for like 48 to maybe 60 hours now. Overall, downloading games takes a long time. It's simply done high time to end of today though. So we can now record is 8 whenever we want now, finally. I've actually been itching to play that game lately. Surprisingly. I definitely do have plans to let's play is 8. Definitely. Definitely would mind trying to do a 100% run of that game as well. I'm still trying to want to Platinum is 8. Hopefully it'll happen eventually. Maybe in the Let's Play run? Who knows? Definitely would mind trying to do a 100% playthrough of that game eventually. And I still don't know how to say the name of the second game I ended up getting. I need to look up how you fucking pronounce it. End up getting Tokyo something. Tokyo blank EX plus. I wanted to say Oxio, but I fucking hit. Uh. It's Tokyo. The name of the game is Tokyo. The second word starts with the little X. And then it's EX Plus. Ended up getting that for the PlayStation 4. Again, digitally. I need to look up how you pronounce the second word for the title of that game. Because I don't know how to say it. I really need to look up how you pronounce it. End up getting that game as well. And I know absolutely nothing about it other than I've been wanting to play it ever since it first released. Ever since it was first announced back in 2017, I believe. Finally ended up getting the game. So I also probably expect a blind Let's Play of that game at some point. Also, I'm probably gonna start playing some games on my own time after my hands are back to normal. I'm most likely gonna play a game or two on my own time and record it in the process as well. So I might as well just hit the record button while I'm at it, stockpile a lot of recorded footage and whatever some of the current 
Let's play Potsdam. So, starting to wrap up. That's why I should start editing that footage. I feel like that sounds like a plan, but at the same time, a bad plan. I'll probably do it anyway. Hopefully, maybe, who knows. I don't know, I guess, till next month. Stay golden. Because I'm not editing any more videos this month, period. So we had two more AMVs laid on today. And yeah, till next month, stay golden.